Hello students, welcome to today's session. So in this session, we are going to see the IoT platforms and design methodology for IoT level 5. So far we have seen level 4 systems, level 3 systems, level 2, level 1 and IoT systems. So this uh, level 5 system which has a multiple end nodes comparing to that uh, IoT level 4 systems and also it has additionally one coordinator node. So the end nodes which can perform sensing and also actuation purpose. So we are going to see the detail about IoT level 5. We are crossed four levels. So fifth level. So these uh, IoT level uh, which contains the IoT system components that is uh, devices, resources, controller services, database, web services, analysis component and application part. So these uh, devices, the IoT device which allows the remote sensing, actuating, identification and also remote monitoring capabilities. So resources are software components on the IoT device for accessing, processing and storing sensor information or controlling actuators connected to the device. So resources also include the software components that enables a network access for the device. So controller services is a native service that runs on the device and interacts with the web services. So control services sends data from the device to the web service and receives commands from the application for controlling the device. So database which can uh, either the local or in the cloud so, and stores the data generated by the IoT device. So web services serve as a link between the IoT device, application, database and analysis components. So web services can be either implemented using HTTP and REST principles or using a WebSocket protocol. So coming into analysis and component, uh, the analysis component is uh, responsible for analyzing the IoT data and generate results in a form which can be easily understand for the user. So analysis of data can be performed either locally or in the cloud. So analyzed results are stored in the local or cloud database. So application part, so IoT application provide an interface that the users can use to control and monitor various aspects of the IoT systems. So IoT uh, applications uh, also you allows the users to view the system status and view the processed data. So in this uh, part, we are going to see the level 5 IoT system. So it has a already said it has a multiple end nodes and also one coordinator node. So the end nodes that can perform sensing as well as actuating part. So the coordinator nodes which collects the data uh, from the end nodes and uh, sends to the cloud. So data stored in the cloud and analyzed in the cloud and application is cloud based. So level 5 IoT systems are uh, suitable for solutions based on wireless sensor networks in which the uh, data involved is big and the analysis requirements are computationally intensive. So it is uh, based for the solutions which uh, uh, in which the wireless sensor networks coming into picture. Okay. So here the data involved is more and the analysis part uh, we have to computationally intensive. So it more number of computation has to be done for this level of IoT. So here the representation. So it has a routers and um, uh, endpoints, multiple endpoints. And then the, these endpoints are connected to the common uh, node. Okay, so it is a coordinator node and it is uh, processed and uh, the data has been stored in the cloud storage and analysis part done in the cloud. So here the uh, devices, endpoint devices, uh, which is uh, nothing but uh, sensors, microcontrollers, so it has been connected to the resource. So it is a software part and then uh, it is a control services. Here the uh, network, so it is a nativity services which acts as a uh, uh, data interface between the REST and WebSocket services and then in turn it is connected to the application. So here the analysis uh, component which has an IoT intelligence, so the data has been analyzed, managed, okay. So with the help of the database. So this database will have the storage part. So storage part, management part and analytics part with the help of analysis and component. Okay. So here the observer node which is connected to 
the REST web uh, socket services uh, with the help of communication protocols. So they are the application which is available for the end users. So it is available for the end users in an easy method. So user can able to understand. So the main difference uh, comparing to the level four is the, it is the it is having a multiple end nodes. Okay, so multiple end nodes which is connected to a common coordinator node. So we let us see the example of forest fire reduction. So here the forest fire reduction. Uh, which reducts the forest fire in early stages to take uh, action while the fire is still controllable. So sensors uh, which measures the temperature, smoke, weather, slope of the earth, wind speed and speed of fire spread and frame length. So why we are going to take the forest fire as an example? So because the forest fire is one of the common hazards that is uh, occurred in the forest. So for fire monitoring has three phases. First one is a pre-fire and then uh, which take an appropriate action for fire control. Uh, another one is a during fire, so which is a deduction of fire and planning to control fire. Third one is the post fire, so damage assessment and mitigation planning. So in uh, olden days, uh, the manu manually fire reduction approach is used. So in current days, satellite based surveillance systems is used to detect forest fire. But uh, this works when fire is spread in the large area. So these techniques are not efficient. So according to a survey, approximately 80 percentages uh, losses are occurred in the forest due to late detection of fire. So to overcome this problem, we use the IoT technology. So in this, uh, with the help of this technology, early fire detection has been possible. Okay, with the help of microcontrollers and required sensors. So centralized server is used for storing the data and analyzing the data. So feed forward uh, fully controlled neural networks is used for prediction purpose. So then the alert message is sent to the admin and to the people with the proximity. So uh, the system which consisting of multiple nodes uh, that is placed in different locations. Okay. So the system which consisting of multiple nodes. So these are the multiple nodes, sensor nodes. So which is uh, uh, connected in different locations for monitoring temperature humidity and carbon dioxide levels in a forest. So N nodes in these examples, okay, these N nodes, sensor nodes in these examples are equipped with uh, various sensors. So the uh, particular nodes are uh, uh, with the sensors, particular sensors, such as uh, temperature, humidity and CO2 sensor. So the coordinator node, common node connects the data from the N node. So the coordinator node which connects the data from the N node. So it acts as a gateway. So this acts as a gateway and sends the data that provides the internet connectivity so to the IoT system. So the controller service on the coordinated device sends the collected data to the cloud. Okay, so, so here the sensor node collects the data which is connected to a common point and this common point will turn uh, connected to the cloud with the help of uh, internet connectivity and uh, the data is stored in a cloud base. So analysis of data has been done through this cloud computing cloud to aggregate the data and make predictions. So the cloud based application is used for visualizing the data, cloud based application visualizing the data. So this data based on the prediction and based on that analysis, the users uh, will get a message. The public also will get a message which is near to proximity. So this is the one of the method used for fire detection, forest fire detection. So the uh, sensors uh, serving as a data center. Okay, here the sensors are the main part. It's serving as a data center. So temperature sensor or uh, humidity sensor and smoke sensors are working for the requirement of certain distances. So the certain uh, forest place in order to notice the temperature and the threshold value of carbon dioxide gas CO2 that is uh, these sensors will sense the signal to the microcontroller. So these sequences are helpful for adjustments in the surroundings and react automatically in the occurrence of an emergency. So the innovation in computerized initi initiating devices using ultrasonic to analyze the visible effect of fire. So uh, it happens in the forest. So fire which happens in the forest has been visible okay with the help of these uh, sensors. So the uh, flame sensors which are uh, to be recognized in a realistic state of affairs that are wanted to be placed at the 
measured distance so that uh, a scene which can be saved on the complete forest area so the transmit mission of the data by means of the transmitter so on act accepting the records from the controller a transmitter transmits the statistics to a unique where the uh, collector station is superior to be utilized so microcontroller is the focal piece of the tool circuits because it controls and empowers the working of the complete circuits right from a transmitter circuit and to the receiving uh, receiving one so receiving station okay so on receiving the records from the transmitter circuit the receiver sends the data to the controller ic of the attached uh, controller in the receiver circuit in digital form so in order to make the controller feasible to do the programming moves for the monitoring of temperature level and co2 degree for fire reduction so displaying of the ranges of temperature and co2 level in the accessible through domestically created network so when the records involving the temperature and co2 are uh, processed in the ic of the receiver circuits the microcontroller which is programmed with the one of a kind library features of the ethernet which protect interfacing which making it viable to create a message in the domestically created community which is uh, naming uh, for example if you are naming a community as fire security model with the help of a router so the uh, microcontroller in the receiving end will send a message so the network which gives a framework or a data stack which is organized for both tcp and udp so this uh, microcontroller ethernet shield to access the microcontroller to the internet so when the degrees of temperature will go the preset value so it compares the preset value or threshold value the sensor with the gsm part or gps or whatever it may be the uh, app uh, app uh, appliance so will supply the information okay so the whole designing of this uh, iot enabled for, uh, for forest fire reduction and monitoring systems has been manually used in certain algorithms so this is one of the example so advantages so what is the advantage of using this type of technology so we are getting a fast response to fires so that is a three stages no that is pre fire during fire and post fire so it, it, if if the information is sent to the particular uh, uh, community people in prior to that means so we will say the fast response will take place so location of fire is sensed using this method not just the radiation so we can uh, easily find the particular location where the fire has been uh, evolved okay so we can uh, identify the specific spot with the help of that sensor node so it can be used for outdoor places which covers large area so it is uh, used for a large area so because of multiple nodes multiple sensors which sends the information to the common node the common node uh, will send uh, the information to the transmitter with the uh, network device and also the processed data will be available for the user receiver end so that receiver end will help uh, will connect to the community people okay so uh, this can be used for outdoor places where large area focusing the large area so it involves the uh, safety and also uh, safety to the forest animals because a lot of animals and lot of herbs which are wasted uh, during that fire so by using this technology it will helpful for the community so far we have uh, seen the iot level 5 and its uh, representation and its block with the block diagram and the example forest fire monitoring system with its advantages thank you for listening